In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use a calculator to calculate indices, logarithms, and root. And I'm going to start with the uh, indices and natural functions. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this by using the max input output and the linear input output. So let's start with the uh, max input output. Okay, so uh, 18 to the power of negative 3 over 7. So let's start with this 18, 1, 8, okay, to the power of, so we use this, eh? we use this buttons to the power of, and then it's uh, negative, negative, and then we can see that we have a fractions here, so we use a fractions container, and then um, 3 over 7, okay, equal. So that's how to do this, and let's continue with this uh, e to the power of 3. Yeah? So e is somewhere around here, okay, so this button uh, is for e, yeah? uh, natural functions. So shift e, and then 3, equal. So this is pretty easy. Uh, how about linear input output? So um, so we have 18, 1, 8, and then uh, to the power of, to the power of, negative 3 over 7 close bracket equal so um, it's almost the same okay and for a natural function shift e and then 3 close bracket equal so that's how to do this um how about general logarithms and uh, natural logarithms eh? so this is general logarithms and this is natural uh, logarithms so let's start with uh, the max input output so log 5 so this is for uh, general logarithms where the base of the logarithm is 10 so let's start with this one log 5 and then uh, now uh, you can close this or you can just leave it okay if the parenthesis is the last characters actually uh, you can leave it so in this case I choose to leave the close brackets or parenthesis so I straight away go to equal this is the answer and for natural logarithms long 5 equal okay and for linear input output is the same as the max input output. Let me show you, okay. So uh, log five equal or ln five equal. Eh? It's the same, exactly the same, okay. How about logarithm with base n, which the base is not 10 or the uh, natural functions, eh? okay. So we can use these buttons. Eh? for logarithm with the base which is not 10 and not e yeah? okay so let's see how to do this so we have this log base 5 7 um, so let's insert the container first and then we have two sub container uh, one is for the base and one is for the uh, number okay in this case the base is 5 so we start with uh, the first one the base first uh, 5 and then uh, Let's move to the second container and uh, the number is seven. So the logarithm is seven and equal. So, so this is the answer. And for linear input output is slightly different. Okay, so uh, we use the same buttons, okay. but uh, we don't have the container. So we need to insert uh, the base first. The base is five and then uh, separate the base from the logarithms by using comma comer and then uh, seven close brackets equal so that's how to uh, find the answer for a logarithm with uh, base n uh, which the base is not 10 and not natural functions okay uh, how about root uh? Uh, square root keep root and n root uh? for example the square root uh, keep root and the root of six uh? okay so for max input output uh, square root is easy just uh, Press on these buttons and then it's, uh, 5, uh, square root of 5 equal. That's easy. Okay, you can see that the answer is given in uh, root. Eh? Okay, normally this is not what we want. Okay, um, normally we would like it to be displaced in uh, normal numbers uh, in decimal places. Okay, so we can use these buttons, the uh, SD buttons, to change the answer to uh, a number with a decimal point. Okay. Um, for cube root, 
for cube root is equally easy. So shift cube root and then five. Huh? So straight away, it show us the answer. And for the root of six, uh, this is slightly complicated, okay? You can see that, okay? We have this end roots uh, icon here. So shift and root. Um, let's start with the number first. Sorry, uh, we start with the root first, okay? This is a six root, eh? so we start with six, six, and then uh, next, uh, this is root of five, huh? six roots of five, so five equal. Okay, so that's how we do this by using the max input output and then uh, how about linear input output. For square root, uh, we just put in square root and uh, five close bracket equal. So this is the answer. Um, you can see that for linear input output, the answer is given in decimal numbers, huh? not in the root form. Okay. For keep root, shift, keep root, and then five, uh, close bracket, answer. So this is answer. And for the six root, now for the six roots of five, uh, uh, for linear input output, we start with the six first. Uh, okay, six, then uh, shift root, okay. Then only follow with five, uh, okay, five close bracket and equal okay so that's how we calculate the sixth root by using uh, linear input output okay